Afghan refugees are now scattered throughout the country and will soon start new lives here in the U.S. Some of them will likely be coming here to Tucson. News for Tucson's Eric Fink spoke with City Councilman Steve Kozacic and a local Afghan. Both well aware Tucson will be a place for refugees. Eric reports tonight details are still being worked out. Right now, Councilman Kazachik says he's heard a rough estimate of upwards of 2,000 refugees could be on their way to Arizona. But he says that number could change in a heartbeat. And there's no word Tuesday night on how many could be coming to southern Arizona. Refugees are being housed in military bases around the country. Uh, we understand that there will be three bases up in the Phoenix area who will receive some Afghan refugees. We don't know uh, the number the quantity and we don't know the uh, the timing of that quite yet. All of this is very much in flux. Atipa Rawan grew up in Afghanistan. She's been in Tucson for more than 40 years and has made 15 trips back to her native country since 2002. And she knows how difficult this transition is for so many who are completely starting over. They are separated in, to begin with and they are separated from their uh, in, in an environment, I mean, that's a, in, can you imagine if you go to another place, you leave your belongings, your memories, your pictures, your photos, I mean, everything you're leaving and, and coming and starting from, from scratch. Rowan's confident our community will welcome these refugees with open arms. I'm getting calls and also my other friends are all getting calls. We're getting support. People are asking us. What should I do? How can I help these people? So we're anxiously waiting for them to arrive here. Kazachik says Casa Alitas is still taking in Central American migrants every day. And he says with COVID, capacity there is very limited. If you'd like to volunteer to help settle Afghan refugees when they start coming to Southern Arizona, just head to our website to find a link on how to get involved. That's KVOA.com. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.